this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment My Journey into Data Science. In this segment we talk to distinguished people from the world of data science and ask them questions related to their transition. If they were to hire a data scientist, what would they be looking for and their advice to data science aspirants. And today we have with us a very special guest Abhishek Thakur who is the world's first quadruple grandmaster on Kaggle. Kaggle is the world's largest online community of data scientists and machine learning engineers where they can work together and enter competitions to solve data science problems. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Coming to the first question, how should a beginner approach Kaggle? It's very difficult for the beginners and it was the same for me. Um and what from what i've seen that uh, beginners they tend to give up really quickly so they should stop doing that and uh, even if they fail in a competition so like they're not getting good ranks and they see like uh, other people are have much better scores so they they just give up and uh, they should not do that and even if they fail they have to learn from the mistakes they made and also from the solutions of the winners So that's where the most of the knowledge lies. What difficulties or challenges did you face as a beginner? First of all, I was not from computer science background. Okay. So I'm an electronics engineer, so that was one of the difficulties. So mm -hmm. I took masters in computer science where I learned a little bit about coding and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know anything about Python. Everyone was using Python, so I learned Python. So that was another very big step. And when it comes to data sets and solving problems, uh, I always solve problems. using some basic simple methods and then move towards more complicated things so and that's how i think the beginners should do if they know something very well they should apply it and uh, they should not just jump ships and go for something which is very difficult in the very beginning if you were to hire a data scientist for your team what qualities would you be looking for yeah that's a very interesting question because a lot of people ask me about that and um uh, it's a little bit different where you are located first of all So I've seen that many big companies in India are looking at uh, these tier one colleges, at IIT and IIT, and all kinds of things. And most of the people are not from these colleges, so they have to prove themselves and um, create a kind of portfolio that stands out. And uh, for that, they should do some kind of projects because anybody can learn the theory, but when it comes to application, a lot of people fail. And uh, I, when I have to hire someone in future, I would look at uh, uh, what kind of projects they have done. I've also done it previously, so I I don't care about the educational background. I don't care about where you're from, physics, chemistry, or whatever. But if you have done some nice projects and you know how to approach problems, and you can probably you have done something with images. And if I ask you about uh, text data, how would you? Uh, what would your approach be? so i look at these kind of things and i also look at coding a lot so you should definitely know some coding and try to write some good code but that's something that you can also learn lastly what advice would you give to today's data science aspirants so my advice would be so i always say that perseverance is very important mm -hmm. so don't uh, don't get depressed and uh, keep trying until you succeed and you will someday so that's the only advice and Learning theory is important. A lot of people learn theory by heart, but it's also very important when you when if you want to work in an industry, you have to learn the applications too. So you have to learn how to approach problems in uh, different ways and uh, what suits the business needs. So try to understand that and uh, try to build a portfolio of projects and show it to the world. So write some blogs, put it on your GitHub, do these kind of things. Share it on LinkedIn or Twitter. so that people know about you thank you so much for being a part of this segment with that we come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything in the world of data science see you soon bye